Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm back. Um, I've had a few questions about what kind of camera I use to do my YouTube video. And I just want to show you guys, take a look. It's just my digital camera that has a video recorder. That's part of it. Um, so I've been doing that for a little bit, but I am saving money in order to get a flip HD, what are, you know, those flip cameras that everybody's starting to use. So I'm saving money for that, and so soon my YouTube videos will be using that, and I'll be traveling more. It just looks awkward with this rectangle thing when I try to videotape away from here. But um, it's cool, you know, it gets the job done, that's the point. Uh, much love and support. I mean, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to everybody that's been commenting and emailing me back. Love it, I love it. Um, feel good, feel great. Much love from a lot of Mike, just jumping on into it. Um, Following the DJ tip right now, I want to give much love to my homie that I've known for such a long time, DJ Mikey P. Um, you know, all everything, all his info, DJ Mikey P, his stuff is going to be all over here. So, um, you know, click, listen to his music, comments, let me know what you think about him. He does his combination, he plays all the music I love, which is hip hop, underground, mainstream, top 40, um, lovers rock, um, reggae, and neo soul, like that type of blend. So love that I love dancing to it so it's awesome um, but let's go ahead and jump right into it a lot of people have been asking me hey how are you so passionate and so driven and so energetic about the things you do don't you ever have like a day where you dip down and you know you feel bad and stuff like that you have a bad day yes I do I'm human but the thing that I've been really stressing for about the last year is to stay positive and put a positive spin on um, things that happen in my life and you know things can be a lot worse you know if you know that in the back of your head things can be a lot worse um, life's easy uh, another thing is I've had a lot of um, back and forth conversations with friends and the topic of today which I'm going to say right now is what ifs you know um, what ifs that kills us you know and if you think about it we always ask ourselves what if this happened what if you know this could have happened for me blah 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 um, I've been having conversations with a close friend of mine um, and he told me, which really makes sense, dude, you should not be having this shoulda, coulda, woulda done something attitude. Just get it done. Period. You know? Stop, stop you know, having regrets and in, in, in retrospect go, man, I could have done that. Should have done that. Didn't. You know? It's like, do it ahead of time. Just go. Handle it. You know? Be proactive. And, and get stuff done. Why would you want to live a life of regrets that you could have done something about it? Or you, you know, like for instance, you had a crush on someone and you didn't let them know. Or you want to take someone out and you never had the opportunity. Or you never made yourself go and just tell them, hey, I want to take you out. Or there's a job that you want out there, but you're too comfortable at your own job right now. And you don't want to take it because you're afraid that, you know, it might not work out. Well, you won't know until you try it, right? So that's why I'm so positive and that's why I'm so driven because I don't ever want to live a life when, in retrospect of like I could have done something. By the time I die, I want to be able to look back and just say like, damn, I did everything I wanted to do. You know? So that's why I'm so positive. That's why I stay focused. No shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know? I do have my down days, but you know, I surround myself with beautiful people that uplift me and re-energize me. So that's what it is. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys do to make yourself come up out of your, you know, little in the depths of darkness, I guess you can say, and pull yourself out? What do you guys do? Um, comment below. Email me, melodicmike.gmail.com. Um, I want to throw out there, it is locked down April 3rd. All you guys are invited. Um, Saturday, April 3rd, birthday party. I'm doing it with my homegirl, um, Kat. It's going to be sick. Uh, it's going to be taking place up in Hollywood at the Burgundy House, also or used to be known as Jimmy's Lounge. Um, I love the place. The music's dope. It's a small little lounge, front and back end of it. I'm excited. As you can tell, I'm amped. I'm juiced. Um, I'm telling all my people, everybody on my, my family and friends, on my guest list, wear something red. We want to be, I want, to, I want us to stand out that night. So when you go and you enter, Wear something red. It's free before 11, so get get your butt there in line at 10.30 so we can all walk in. They're not the type of club where they're going to wait for the line to fill up and then let people in. No, they're going to get you in. So get there early. Um, get in. The music's popping. The drinks are good. I'm going to be there. 
You know I'm going to be dancing. I'm going to be sweating away. My girl Kat is just going to be off the hook. She's going to look beautiful and she's going to rock the dance floor. Um, so join us. Burgundy House up in Hollywood. I will, down below will be the address. Um, any questions, hit me up. Let me know uh, what you think. But remember, no what ifs, no regrets, no shoulda, coulda, woulda. Get stuff done. Do it. We only live once. All right? So on that note, more music to come. Like I said in the past video, I can't wait a couple more weeks. I get in the booth with Risk, and we're just going to just get stuff going. All right? So from me to you, you see this right here? You see the shirt? You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Real talk. All right? So on that note, stay blessed, and I'll be back soon. Take care. Cheers.